Do you need to rename multiple files in a folder in one go? The good news is that you do not need any expensive software or a complicated VBA script to do this. All you need is one very simple Excel formula and a couple of easy commands. Let me show you how it works. I'm currently in the downloads folder in my system and here I have this folder called example. And if I open this, you'll see that there are six files and these are the files that I want to quickly rename. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is go to the address bar in that folder and type CMD. So as I type CMD and I hit enter, it opens the command prompt. And within this command prompt, you can see it has already taken the address of the folder, which was the example folder, and it has already taken the address for it. Now, to get the list of all the file names, I would use the command dir forward slash b. And when I hit enter, it gives me the names of all the files in the folder. You can see these are the six files and it has given me these names here and I can copy it and paste it in Excel. So this in itself is a very big time saving thing because I can quickly get all the file names without using any VBA script, without using Power Query or any big formula. But I just don't want to get the file names. I want to rename them. So to rename a file name, let's say I want to rename this file name Q1 Sales US to Q1 Sales US New. So what I'm, I can do is I can use another prompt or a command, which is REN for a rename. And then I can type the name of the file, the original file name, and then the modified file name. So here I would type Q1 sales US dot XLSX. You have to type the entire file name and then the file name that you want that should replace this file name. So that would be Q1 sales US new dot XLSX. And now, Everything has to be in double quotes. The file name has to be in double quotes and then ren followed by the old file name, then the new file name. See what happens when I hit enter. As of now, the file name is Q1 sales US. When I hit enter, it is going to go into this folder and change the file name. So this is just for one file, but I can do this for all the files if I want. So let me copy all these file names. And what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go into Excel and I'm going to create these prompts in bulk. So I have this Excel file here and I've already created this Excel file. I will give you the link of this file in the description. What I'm going to do is put all these old file names here and I will put all the new file names here. So I already have created these file names. You can obviously type these manually, whatever way you want to do it. You can get the new file names here. So I'm going to paste all the new file names that I have. And here I have this quotation mark and using all these three cells, I have created this formula that gives me the exact prompt, which is REN followed by a space character, then the old file name in double quotes, and then the new file name in double quotes. So it's a very simple concatenate formula. So I can just copy all these and I can go back to my command prompt and let me quickly go back to the folder. So in the folder, you can see these are all the file names. Let me change the file name because I've already changed this one. So these are the six file names. I would go back to the command prompt and now I'm going to paste the prompts that I've copied from Excel. So I would use control V and as soon as I do that, it shows me a warning because I'm trying to run multiple commands in one go. So it's telling me that you're trying to run multiple commands. Are you okay with it? So I'm going to click on paste anyway. And when I do that, it goes into this folder and it renames all these files. Now, how cool is this? It could be one file, it could be 10 files, it could be 100 files. It would do all these renamings in bulk just with this command prompt. Now, a couple more things I want to show you is let's say in case you have subfolders. So let me go back to my downloads folder. And here I have another folder which has subfolders. If you want to get all the file names that are there in the main folder as well as subfolder, you can try a slightly different prompt. So I would again go back to the address bar use cmd enter so it opens the command prompt and here it already has taken the name of the folder which is example with subfolder and here i would type dir forward slash b and then forward slash s and when i do that it is going to give me the names of all these files all the subfolders and the files within the subfolder so now if i hit enter it gives me all these file names along with subfolder name and the files within the subfolder. So I have example doc uh, docx in uh, subfolder one and example pdf.pdf in subfolder two. One change here you would notice it that it would just not give me the file name, it would give me the entire path name. So if you have a project where you want to quickly get all the file names in all the folders and subfolders, then you can use this prompt. Another thing you can do is if you want to only get the names of specific files, let's say I only want to get Excel files, then you can use the prompt dir forward slash b and then enter the extension that you want. So in this case, what I'm going to do is asterisk 
dot xlsx and it is only going to give me the excel files now you must have seen uh, the asterisk in excel as well this is a wildcard character that represents any number of characters so this means that it is going to give me excel files and it could be the name could be anything as long as it ends with dot xlsx it is going to give me all those files so now if i hit enter it gives me all these four names now in this case i only have excel files but if you have excel files and pdf files and everything else it would only give you the excel files and in case let's say you have files which have different excel extensions let's say dot xlsx xlsm xlsb then you can use slightly different prompt which is going to be dir forward slash b and then asterisk dot xls and then asterisk which means that it should have the term dot xls in the file name and it could have any number of characters before or after it so now again if i hit enter it gives me all these four files because these four uh, satisfy this criteria but if you have xlsm files or xlsb files then those would also be listed here so i will have this excel file in the description so you can download it and use it i have also created these commands here so i have these commands and i have a little bit of description so you can use these commands if you forget them so this is a really cool trick where you can use a simple command prompt to quickly rename all the files in a folder. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.